How much are you asking for? In your hand, that's good. Oh, that's <laughs> the only job you can be wrong on and get paid for. All right, spotted some kids' clubs from the road. They look like McGregor. If they are, McGregor makes a really good kid set that sells really well. They also could be Nitro Walmart clubs, which is bad. Let's see. Good morning. How are you? And they're Nitro. And they're not all there. Morning, how are you? Oh, hanging in there. I hear you. It's a beautiful day to have a yard sale. Tell you what, they were calling for rain earlier in the week and then nothing. Yeah, you're exactly right. <laughs> Love to be a weatherman. It's the only job you can be halfway right. <laughs> Shoot, I'm already even halfway right. I swear I'm wrong. That's the only job you can be wrong on and get paid for. You got it. And get paid big money. 100%. How much you asking on it? Well, dog on it, you talk me into it. Okay, great. <laughs> talk I me into it. Deal. I want to sell something. <laughs> oh, I imagine you'll Greg get rid of. said, "Where are the customers?" I said, "I don't know." Still early yet? Yeah. He used to be yes, in the old days. Right. People came out real early. <laughs> if, if they said seven, they will be here. So that lady is obviously pretty awesome and that's definitely one of my favorite things about garage sales is the people that you meet and interact with. You find some interesting characters and like I said this lady's pretty awesome. But I did buy this Bauer tool bag and tool bags can definitely be something to be on the lookout for especially brands like Klein, Snap-on, Milwaukee and then this new brand that I just found out about called Vito Pro. Their bags sell for some crazy money even pre-owned. I'm actually going to keep this one this Bauer bag I could sell it for around 40 bucks. But I'm going to keep it for a laptop slash camera bag. I think it's going to work real well for that. If I can clean it up and get it nice and clean. Good morning. How are you? How you doing? How much are your uh, clubs? You got different prices or? Yeah, my husband just said that, that that one to the left is a wooden uh, whole set. Right yeah. There. And, um, and these are parts and pieces. These are parts and pieces. So he said a dollar a piece for the these and okay. then like three dollars for the a piece for the drivers and the wood. Okay. I'm going to pull out a few. How about your uh, shoes down here? Uh, they're six feet. Like I just got mine from Wilson. 
Oh, really? Is there a bunch of houses participating? I, like I said, I didn't even look. Was it? I think I came here last year. It was like 95 or something. Yeah. What you got on this thing? You think it works? Yeah. Yeah. Well, it's probably eight batteries. I'm sure. Um, I'm sure. I said three dollars. Okay. Fair enough. All right, I got a little pile over here if you want to okay. add me up. <laughs> Yeah, right? It's too early for that, isn't it? Six, nine, 10, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18. $18. Right. Good, that works. That's perfect. Okay. So that was obviously a pretty good stop. You guys saw the Birkenstocks. You guys saw the golf clubs, except for the fish putter. I couldn't find that on eBay anywhere, but honestly, I think it's a keeper. It's currently perched in my golf bag, and I'm just going to hold on to it for the hell of it. But what I really want to show you guys is this thing. You guys saw the comps in this vintage Sony tape recorder, except those weren't actual sold comps. Those are active listings. That's what people are asking for this thing. Always make sure when you're comping stuff out, especially on the eBay app, you check out the solds and see what they're actually selling for. In this case, you'll see it's a pretty big difference. There is one that sold for like $77, but it's in perfect condition. Good morning. Morning, how are you? Good, how are you? Doing good. Always on the hunt for golf clubs. Huh? Got any of those laying around? What's that? You might know of someone who wants them. How much are you asking for? In your hand, that's good. Let me give you something for them. About 10 bucks. Make it five. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> He's negotiating in the wrong direction. Dan. Five bucks. I was just going to, I mean, I'm not going to use them ever again. Well, I appreciate it. I mean, if you see something else, then you can do the other five on that. So. I'm giving you 10. All right. Remember I said I always meet the nicest people at garage sales? Well, this guy's the perfect example. He just tried to give me a full set of Mizuno Tezoid Pro irons. And they're not in great condition, but they still should sell for around 100 bucks. That was really nice of him. And what would you have done? Let me comment down below. Would you have taken them and ran, or would you try to give him some money? Let me know. Morning. Morning. How are y'all? Good. Doing well. How much for this club right here? <laughs> yeah, they are. You want to sell me that one? Sure. How much? Um, a couple bucks. That'll work. I just, I want to hit it. It looks like fun. Driving iron? Yeah. Yeah. I'll give you a couple bucks for that. Sure. See what else you got. Come with the original set. No. That's cool. Yeah. I'm not though, that's the problem. <laughs> I uh I got one set like that. Really? Yeah, first time out. Yeah, up in Wisconsin.
How much you asking on him? I'd like ten bucks for that. Ten? I got uh, I got the strings for him. I'll throw in that uh, that fiberglass one too. All right, you talk me into it. Okay. So twelve bucks? Yeah. I guess I'm a better bargain hunter than I am a pheasant hunter, but I picked up two bows for $10. The green one is a Paul Bunyan Scout, and this one is a Black Hawk Mosquito. The cool thing about these is they're actually from the 50s or 60s, so they're pretty old. Not a ton of value, I'll throw some comps on the screen, but definitely a cool find, and I've certainly had $10 worth of fun playing around with these. It also came with these arrows that I thought were toys to begin with, but check out these metal tips, definitely deadly. But next up is actually a church sale where I found a bunch of stuff that was more valuable than I thought it was. That was 22? Huh? That was 20 as well? Uh, what's that? That was 15. Okay. I'll take that. Good morning. Great condition. I ended up getting the Ariat boots for 50 cent and in that condition they actually sell for like 50 or 60 bucks so that's definitely pretty good. Unfortunately I had to pass on the other two pair because they had rips in the side. I walked around the church a little bit more, didn't find anything else, got the golf clubs, the boots, walked outside to pay and that's when things got interesting. That is the creepiest Furby ever. We're getting it. Hey, Furby. Huh? Sing me a song. Twinkle, twinkle, little star. I don't know whether this is a talking parent that's worth so much, but... We we'll give it a try. Hello. What's up? What you doing? Chilling. Pardon? That's cool. So I ended up getting four critters off the ground at a church sale and I paid 25 cents a piece for them. So I'm all in a dollar. The uh, Harley Eagle wasn't really worth a whole lot, but this guy does pretty well. This is Ahmed the Dead Terrorist. He was one of Jeff Dunham's puppets. Silence! I kill you! And he actually sells for like 40 or 45 dollars and he's still working, which is kind of surprising. Also got Squawkers here. He's a macaw and he's one of the fur real pets and he's a huge bolo. If you can find him with his stand and with his controller, he's actually worth like $200. As he is still working like this but without all the accessories, I think I can get like $70 for it. Also got that Furby and you guys may have seen him sitting back here earlier in the video. Well, he just sold and he actually just sold for $89.99 plus $10 shipping. So for a quarter, definitely a good investment. Definitely be on the lookout for fur real pets, furbies, and apparently dead terrorists. But I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Don't forget to like and subscribe. We'll see you next time. Give me a kiss. Oh.